Welcome to week nine of ecstatic yoga hybrid teacher training. Wow, you are so close. This is very exciting. Today, this whole week, we are going to have our focus on this radical self-love of this inner being, this inner spiritual presence, the divine of our understanding, this Atman. I may have many names for this, and this is what's so beautiful about yoga is it's not a religion. You get to choose who and what your divine, the divine, the name of the God of your understanding, what you want to call it, divine universe, creator, source, um, and any of the names of the masters and the, the divine presence and beings that have walked the earth. Yeah, maybe even a past loved one is your Atman. Whatever guides you, a spirit guide, uh, any of the masters like Christ, Jesus Christ, Buddha, Krishna, there's so many that we can we can pray to that connects with us. We have to really truly honor what works for us. Maybe it's simply our higher self, our eternal self, that inner aliveness, that um, true self inside of us, or the Holy Spirit within us. Choose what feels right and clicks and it opens your heart and makes you feel uh, that, that loving connection to something higher than just this physical body that comes and goes in a blink of a lifetime and something non-physical is animating through it. That's the Atman. And so this is a week to really, to really connect and send love and, and gratitude to the divine of your understanding, which is a beautiful thing. Our single point of focus is our Ajna Chakra, our third eye, that pineal gland. And this is a beautiful focus. Uh, this awakens this pineal gland by bringing awareness and focus to it, which is can open up our spiritual facilities. So we're going to really bring a focus to that and all our asana practices this week. And um, our our. Kriya philosophy focus is Svadhyaya, Svadhyaya, and that is self-study. And this is another beautiful thing about yoga is um, studying the spiritual or the um, inspirational works that you feel drawn to. Uh, maybe it's uh, the a religious text from your religion, or maybe it's just inspirational works that you read, or poetry even. It's There's no specific book that we require with self-study. It's that which is in alignment with your heart in the moment, and knowing that changes, and hopefully it changes. We're evolving, we're growing, we're changing, and maybe what you're really interested in right now in reading can change and then you have a new interest and in, and in, in you've absorbed and integrated that information and something higher comes and or something even just different and so honoring what is pulling you now um, knowing that that's not forever it's for now what you want to study now that inspires you brings you that peace that that sense of expansion and joy and uh, it may even just be videos. It doesn't have to be a book. It may be a spiritual practice that you do that's uh, walking through the, the nature, the woods. <laughs> Find that spiritual study that enlivens you and brings you joy, connects you deeper to this infinite, non-physical, divine aspect of yourself. Thank you and wishing you a beautiful week and a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste.